We're moving right along, and I'm going to introduce our next keynote, Henrik, co-founder, CTO of Wizard. Let's take it away, Henrik. Thank you very much, Evan. As Evan mentioned, I'm Henrik, co-founder and CTO of Wizard, and I'm here today to talk to you about design. Because products and companies no, link, no longer live or die by software alone, they now also live or die by their product design and especially their design literacy. I want to take you through a brief history of user interface design, because at first we had Photoshop. Photoshop wasn't meant for UI design, but it was broadly adopted for it nevertheless. Then in 2010 came Sketch, and this was a huge leap forward. Now we actually had software for user interface design, meant for user interface design. And then in 2016, Figma came and they took the market by storm with their web-based collaborative real-time editor. But what's common for all of these three is that they all ex expert tools meant for professional designers. And why does this matter? Well, it matters because often designers are actually not the ones who have a need to design. You might be a product manager or a UX researcher or a founder or a consultant. And you might have a need to design and you need to engage with a professional designer to do so. And this creates a massive execution bottleneck because the amount of designers available compared to the amount of people who need to work with design uh, as part of their job is very, very, very small. And often what uh, people result to is using Google Slides or Keynote or other software that is not meant for user interface design. So they get no assistance in achieving what they actually want to do. So at Wizard, we set up to create a design tool specifically made for non-designers. So we allow anyone to design and test and iterate without involving professionals. And the way we've done that is that we've built a very simple to use web-based editor that is specifically made for non-designers. And on top of that, we augment the design process with AI. So we allow anybody to design like a professional. In 2018, we built the most sophisticated deep neural network technology to teach computers to understand user interface design much in the same way that people do. And this was a world's first. And this is basically the core technology that enables our users to design just like the professionals. And this is the reason why we're winning the hearts and also the business of non-designers all over the world. And now we're back with another world's first because we've taken our proprietary technology and paired that with recent developments within generative AI to create the world's first end-to-end text-to-design feature. We call this uh, the auto designer, and I'm very excited to show you this here today because just inputting any simple text, any simple style description, you can create a fully functional, high quality, interactive design in a matter of seconds. Here I inputted, create me an app for investment management with a dark cyber techie kind of style. And this is the result. The beautiful thing about this is that you can be as vague or you can be as specific about the app that you want to create. It doesn't matter, the AI will listen to that and create something meaningful. So how does this actually work? Well, let's have a look at what design consists of. It consists basically of layout, of style and of content like text and images. It also consi consists of flows between screens. So what happens when we input something to Wizards Auto Designer? Well, quite frankly, a lot of things. First and foremost, the AI deciphers or analyzes the intent of the app that we want to create. And then it starts creating the best screens for this app. It um, adds very high quality styling on top of this. It creates contextually meaningful uh, text and icons to go with it. And it also searches for and adds high quality images. And as a cherry on top, it creates uh, unique uh, illustrations for the apps and designs that you want to do. And it doesn't, doesn't just do this in isolation per screen. It reasons about the app as a whole and creates a meaningful holistic experience. As you can see, quite a lot of heavy lifting is involved here. In the design that you just saw, six screens was generated, more than 300 components was created and positioned, more than 150 meaningful texts, contextually relevant texts was generated, 20 images was added, and one unique illustration was also generated. And on top of that, it also named the app for us. All of this in less than 30 seconds. This would normally take a professional designer hours, and now anyone can do it. 
we want to democratize design at Wizard, and this is why we do what we do. We want to enable anybody without professional design experience to participate in the process of software design. We have a waiting list of more than 50,000 users waiting just to try this one feature, and we are so soon opening up for this. If you want to try it, um, feel free to reach out or to sign up. If you reach out directly to me, I'm happy to see if we can provide you early access. Thank you very much for your time.